Hapon po ay pinagnilayan natin ang paghuhugas ng paa at mayroong ginawa si Jesus bago naghugas ng paa. Tinanggal ang kanyang panlabas na damit. Ang pinakamahalagang nangyari ng Biyernes Santo ay ipinako sa krus si Jesus. At ano ang ginawa bago siya ipinako sa krus? Hinubaran. The Gospel says, He was stripped. He was stripped of His garments that considered five pieces. There were four soldiers, there were five pieces. So they divided the first four pieces among themselves. But the last piece, which was a seamless tunic, they were throwing dice in order to determine to whom the seamless garment would go. Kahapon, tinanggal niyang kusa ang kanyang panlabas na damit. Ngayon, hinubaran ng sapilitan ang kanyang suot-suot na damit. Tandaan po natin na ang katawang ito ay hinagupit at duguan ang buong katawan dahil sa pagpapasa ng krus at pagkadapa. Pero nakadamit. At kung alam ninyo ang mangyayari, matutuyo ang dugo at didikit ang damit doon sa dugo. At ngayon bago siya ipako, bigla na namang inalis yung damit para magdugo ulit yung mga yung, yung sugat sa kanyang buong katawan. Ano ang itinuturo sa atin ng paghuhubad kay Jesus? What does the nakedness of Jesus teach us? They removed five pieces of His clothings. Ang totoo po, hindi natin alam kung papanong ipinako sa krus, hindi rin natin alam kung ano talaga yung limang pirasong yon. Meron pong ibang nagsasaliksik na sinasabi na isinama doon sa limang pirasong yon pati ang kanyang loin cloth, yung kanyang pantakip sa katawan, kahuli-hulihan, ay isinama sa paghubad sa kanya. It was public. Everybody could see. His mother could see. The beloved disciple could see. And they were laughing and mocking him because he was naked. They stripped him of his dignity as a human being. Isipin nyo, kung ngayong hapon, mayroong isang lalaking pumasok ditong hubo at hubad. Anong iisipin mo? May sakit sa ulo. Pero isipin mo kung ang isang tao huhubaran ang kapwa-tao at ipapako sa krus para makita ng lahat ng tao ang kanyang kahubaran. Sinong may sakit sa ulo? Sino ang baliw? Ano ang unang aral na itinuturo ng paghuhubad kay Jesus? Una, kahit sa hinubaran, sa kahuli-hulihang damit, merong hindi natanggal sa Kanya. Ano yun? They were not able to strip Him of His nature to forgive. They were not able to strip Him of His nature to love. They were not able to stop Him from His nature to show mercy. They were not able to stop Him from His nature to be concerned for the mother who would be left behind. Pwedeng hubarin at mawala ang damit at pagtawanan pero hindi mo pwedeng alisin ang kapangyarihan, ang likas na pagnanasa na magmahal sa kapwa-tao. 
It teaches us, dear brothers and sisters, that there is something more important than clothes. There is something more important than a beautiful face. There is something more beautiful than a well-combed hair. There is something more beautiful than signature shoes. And what is it? Your personhood. Ang pagkatao ay mas mahalaga kaysa sa damit. The clothed one is more important than the clothes. Maaring hubaran at tanggalin ang karangalan. Subalit hindi maaring tanggalin ang pagnanasang magpatawad, magmahal, magmalasakit. Sapagat ang pagmamahal, pagmamalasakit, pagpapatawad ay hindi damit. Ito'y galing sa kalooban. My dear brothers and sisters, there is something more important than clothes and it is the clothed one. There is something more important than having. What is more important than having? It is being. Ang damit, dagdag lang yan. Meron bang taong isinilang na nakadamit? Lahat tayo ay isinilang na hubad. Ang unang damit ay lampin at pagkatapos ngayon tayo nakadamit ng ganito. But there is something more important than having add-ons. There is something more important than clothes. There is something more important than grabbing and having and possessing. And what is it? The verb is being. To be is more important than to have. To be a person is more important than to be a rich person. There is something more important and in the stripping of Jesus, we are taught about the real important things. Ngayon, tingnan natin ang ating sarili. Lahat tayo nakadamit. Pero, ano talaga yung damit na hinihingi ng Panginoon? It is to be clothed in holiness. It is to be clothed with mercy. It is to be clothed with compassion. All our clothes, one day, will be removed from us. Darating ang panahon, dadamitan tayo ng imbalsamador. Darating ang panahon, pagagandahin tayo ng funeraria. At kapag dumating na yung pagkakataong, hindi na natin kayang damitan ang sarili. Hindi na natin kayang pagandahin ang sarili. Sana hindi na huli ang lahat para sabihin natin, alam ko na ang mas mahalaga. Mas mahalaga ang dinadamitan kaysa sa damit. Mas mahalaga ang pagkatao kaysa sa ari-arian. To be is more important than to have. At ngayon, pinagdinilayan natin ang hubad na katawan ni Jesus. At sinasabi sa atin, dumating ako sa inyo na hubad. Kahit ako ay Diyos na totoo. Ibinigay ko ng lahat-lahat at sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng lahat-lahat, sana maligtas kayo. Subalit, kapag tinignan natin yung katawan ni Jesus sa sugatan, nakakakonsyensya, nakakabagbag ng damdamin, nakakaiyak, sa katunayan, 
yung Passion of the Christ ay pelikulang for adults only. Subalit so, tandaan natin na tayo ay niligtas ni Jesus hindi lamang sa kanyang sugat. Tayo ay niligtas ni Jesus sa pamamagitan ng kahihiyan na kanyang niyakap. It is the humiliation of Jesus that is deeper than the wounds. We can see with our eyes the wounds of Jesus. But can you feel the agony of His soul for the humiliation that men and women subjected Him to? Can you feel the agony of the soul that is totally humiliated? Wala nang maipagmamalaki at kahit hinubaran ay nagpapatawad pa rin. There is something more important than the wounds that our eyes can see. And what is it? The agony of the soul, the humiliation of the soul. We are also saved not just by the sufferings of Jesus, we are saved by humility. And many souls are not able to go to heaven because of the absence of humility. There is something more important than the clothes. It is the person. There is something more important than to have. It is to be. There is something more valuable than the wounds that our eyes can see. It is the humiliation of an agonizing soul, totally humiliated. Hanggang ngayon po, tuwing maalala ko ang itinuro sa seminaryo, natitigating pa rin ako. Kasama po sa pang-iinsulto at pananakit kay Jesus, sinabi ng Ebanghelyo, nilagyan siya, nilagyan ng esponha sa dulo ng hisopo. Hisop at nilagyan para ipainom sa kanya. Dahil tayo Pilipino, hindi natin masyadong naiintindihan yon. Alam po ninyo, ang esponha ay hindi mo makikita sa kalbaryo. Lalo na ang esponha na nakakabit sa sanga ng hisop. Saan mo makikita yon Sa banyo. Kapag ikaw ay nasa banyo at naghuhugas ka ng likuran, pagkatapos mong dumumi, ang ginagamit mo ay esponha at hisopo para hindi mo hawakan yung marumi. Yung esponha na nakakabit sa hisopo na ginagamit panlinis, pagpasensyahan po ninyo, panlinis ng puwit. Isinausaw sa suka at isinubo sa pakinoon. binibitay sa silya elektrika, binibigyan ng lahat ng pagkain gusto. Yung Panginoon mong magliligtas sa'yo. Kukuha ka ng esponha at hiso po na galing sa banyo, panglinis ng puwit mo, lalagyan mo ng suka at ipapainom mo sa isang naghihingalo. That is what Christ went through for us. If you don't understand it yet, you better understand it now. Because if you don't appreciate the humiliation that Jesus went through for you, you will not be able to understand the greatness of God's love for you.
You look at the wounds, you feel guilty. But can you see his soul? Can you see the agony of his soul? Can you see the agony of his lips being offered hyssop with sponge from the toilet in order to satisfy your thirst? My dear brothers and sisters, there is something more important than the wounds. And it is the total humiliation that we will not even do to our enemies. There is something more important than having and it is being your person. There is something more important than your clothes and it is your body, your personhood. Because your body, your personhood is created in the image and likeness of God. Yon ang itinuturo ng paghuhubad kay Jesus. Naintindihan pa ba natin na ang paghuhubad ay hindi palaging para sa pagpapasasa ng katawan? Hinubaran ng Panginoon, pinilit na hubaran upang ipakita niya sa atin kung gaano niya tayo kamahal. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.